Hi everyone, welcome to Kickboxer Abs One. A strong core is one of the most important things in kickboxing. So today we're gonna focus on a few workouts which focus on strengthening your stability core and abdominal strength. All right, let's get started with our warm up. First, we're gonna start with your hands right behind your head. Okay, we're gonna do a torso twist. I want your legs shoulder width apart, core nice and tight, shoulders back, all right? We're gonna do a twist. Bring your left knee up, right, sh right shoulder, left el right elbow, sorry, to the opposite side. Do that twist. Nice and tight core. Nice and slow too. Let's get that warm up good. There we go, stand nice and tall. And do the twist as much as to your ability all the way. Good job. Make sure you have your legs shoulder width apart. That way you have good balance. And make sure you're breathing. Couple more. There we go. Nice. Good job. All right, now we're gonna go into a crawl up plank. Okay, so you want your legs a little bit shorter than shoulder width apart. We're gonna go down to the floor, extend all the way out. You could bring one knee in, extend that leg out. Opposite. Walk it back. Keep your knees bent if you need to, or you can leave them, leave them nice and straight. There we go. Good job. Again, keep your core tight all the way up. Couple more. Good. Don't forget that breathing. Perfect. Last one. From here, we're gonna do into a cobra stretch. Okay, so I'm gonna come down, bring my whole body, my hands are right next to the side of my chest, and then slowly I'm gonna push up. Breathing. Relax your hips, relax your lower back. One more time. Good job. All the way back. Nice. Should be nice and warmed up. All right, let's start a workout. Okay, round one. We're gonna start with a jab cross and two slips. You want your hands up, leg shoulder width apart in that biting stance. Okay, I'm gonna throw a jab across. I'm gonna slip, slip. Make sure that your core is nice and tight, nice and contracted, all right? And you keep it nice and short moves. You bring your shoulders to the sides and you're moving your upper body when you're doing those slips. You're moving punches. Good job. Awesome. Couple more. Let's switch to the opposite side. There we go. Ready? Hands up and jab cross. Slip, slip. Good. There we go. Keep that core tight. Again, all upper body. Good. Perfect. Keep breathing. There we go. Last one. Good job. All right. Now we're going to sit on the couch or you could sit on the floor. Okay, most advanced levels. We'll sit on a couch, a bench, anything, you know, nice and sturdy. Or we could do a floor workout. You want your hands right behind your hips. We're going to do flutter kicks. Okay, core nice and tight. Extend your legs. There we go. We're right on the tip. And we're moving up and down. A bit more advanced. No hands. There we go. Core tight. You could point your toes or straight up. Keep your legs straight. Perfect. Keep. I'm going to do this about 30 seconds. Keep going. Make sure that core is in tight. Awesome. There we go. Good job. All right, next one. Now we're going to do a bobbin weave. Bring your knees up to your elbows. Okay, so I'm going to go under, out, knee up, knee up. Keep that core nice and tight. Keep that rhythm going. There we go. Don't forget to pivot on your bobbin weave. Hands up. Good job. Core tight. Breathe. Make sure you focus on that core, making nice and tight. Contract it. There we go. 
Make your elbow meet your knee. Knee meet your elbow. Good job. There we go. And let's do some on the other side. Ready? Same thing. You're going to go under, out, meet, meet. There we go. Knee to elbow. And add a little crunch to it. As we're coming up, add that little crunch. Push your hips forward. And you should feel it. Crunch. Good job. Keep it engaged. Couple more. There we go. Awesome job, guys. All right. Back to the chair, back to the bench, back to the couch, or again, we could go on the floor, okay? We're gonna do a core tuck in. We're gonna bring your knees up to your chest, okay? Your hands are right to the side, and I'm gonna push out. Try to have your knees aligned to your shoulders, okay? Core tight, push, and then bring in all the way out. Breathe. I like to exhale, push out. There we go. Perfect. Good job. A couple more. Put through it. Nice. Nice job, guys. All right. Bicycle kicks. Now we're going to move this one to the floor. Okay? You're going to keep your hand right to your side. All right? Here we go. Hands up. And we're going to move your legs into a whole bicycle movement. There we go. Good job. Drive your heel through the floor. Ooh. Not only do you feel your, just your abs, you also feel your thighs. Get that core nice and tight. Good job, guys. Keep going through it. There we go. And that was good. Woo. Perfect. Ready for round two? Let's get it done. All right, guys, here we go, round two. Okay, we're gonna start with that jab cross and some slips. So jab cross, slip, slip. Keep that core nice and tight, okay? You're moving that upper body at that crunch. Your shoulders are what move you. Make sure that everything moves. With your hips move. There we go, all the way out. Good job. Move those shoulders. Keep that core contracted, engaged. And let's switch it over. Ooh. There we go, switch it over, hands up. Ready, jab, cross, slip, slip. There we go. Remember the more advanced you are, you could pick up some speed, okay? There we go, good job. All the way out. There. Good job. Keep pushing through it. Couple more. Nice. Awesome job, guys. All right. Let's move on to the couch okay, for those flutter kicks. Here we go. Hands right next to the side of your hips. Okay. Legs out. Ooh, make sure you have good balance and core tight, engage it. Make sure you suck in your core, okay? Nice and tight, elbow, elbow, chin up high, and start down. You're kind of um, tilt, tilted back a little bit, your back, okay? Keep your core engaged, and the ankle. There we go, keep breathing. Feel it, feel it. Push right through it. There you go. Bigger flutter kicks are good too. And you could even make them smaller if you want to. There we go. Bigger, you slow down. Smaller, you speed up. Nice. Up, guys. And there we go. Let's go into some bobbin weaves, okay? Hands up. All right. We're gonna go under, out. Bring that knee to the elbow at that little crunch. There we go. Slow down a little bit. Nice. 
Don't forget to pivot. Ooh, that was a good feel right there. Good crunch. Last one, we'll switch it over. Ready? There we go. Focus on that crunching. When you bring your knee up, hands up, go under, out, up, up. Always like to look. Keep your eye on that target. There we go. I feel aligned. Whew. Perfect. Couple more. We're gonna move on to that couch. There we go. Nice. Perfect job, guys. All right, let's move on to the couch for those knee tuckers. Okay, core tight. Hands on the side, bring your knees up. Make sure your knees are aligned to your shoulders and push, push, push. There we go. Pretend there's a wall right in front of you. You have to push right through it. Perfect. Breathe out. As you push out, breathe out. Good. A couple more. We're gonna come onto the floor. Those bicycle kicks. Ready? Three, two, time. Nice job, guys. Let's move on to that floor. Ooh, the good one. All right. Hands onto the side. Okay. One leg out, one leg in. You could even do no hands. And start moving. There we go. I like to pretend I'm at the beach and I'm riding that bicycle and your heels driving through that sand. Every time you extend that leg, your, your core tilts back. You push a little bit. And then you kind of come forward. There we go. Almost there. Couple more. And nice job, guys. That was round two. Let's get ready for round three. We're going to start with a jab cross and two slips. You want your hands up, leg shoulder width apart, and that fighting stance. Okay, I'm gonna throw a jab across. I'm gonna slip, slip. Make sure that your core is nice and tight, nice and contracted, all right? And you keep it nice and short moves. You bring your shoulders to the sides and you're moving your upper body when you're doing those slips. You're moving punches. Good job. Awesome. Couple more. Let's switch to the opposite side. There we go. Ready? Hands up and jab, cross, slip, slip. Good. There we go. Keep that core tight. Again, all upper body. Good. Perfect. Keep breathing. There we go. Last one. Good job. All right. Now we're gonna sit on the couch or you could sit on the floor. Okay, more advanced levels. We'll sit on a couch, a bench, anything, you know, nice and sturdy. Or we could do a floor workout. You want your hands right behind your hips. We're gonna do flutter kicks, okay? Core nice and tight. Extend your legs. There we go, we're right on the tip. And we're moving up and down. A bit more advanced. No hands. There we go. Core tight, you could point your toes or straight up, keep your legs straight, perfect, keep, I'm gonna do this about 30 seconds, keep going, make sure that core is in tight, awesome, there we go, good job, all right, next one, now we're gonna do a bobbin weave, bring your knees up to your elbows, okay, so I'm gonna go under, out, Knee up, knee up. Keep that core nice and tight. Keep that rhythm going. There we go. Don't forget to pivot on your bob and weave. Hands up. Good job. Core tight. Breathe. Make sure you focus on that core, making nice and tight. Contract it. There we go. Make your elbow meet your knee. 
knee meet your elbow. Good job. There we go. And let's do some on the other side. Ready? Same thing. You're going to go under, out, meet, meet. There we go. Knee to elbow. And add a little crunch to it. As we're coming up, add that little crunch. Push your hips forward. And you should feel it. Crunch. Good job. Keep it engaged. Couple more. There we go. Awesome job, guys. All right. Back to the chair, back to the bench, back to the couch, or again, we could go on the floor, okay? We're gonna do a core tuck in. We're gonna bring your knees up to your chest, okay? Your hands are right to the side, and I'm gonna push out. Try to have your knees aligned to your shoulders, okay? Core tight, push, and then bring in all the way out. Breathe. I like to exhale, push out. There we go. Perfect. Good job. Couple more. Put through it. Nice. Nice job, guys. All right. Bicycle kicks. Now we're going to move this one to the floor. Okay? You're going to keep your hands right to your side. All right? Here we go. Hands up. And we're going to move your legs into a whole bicycle movement. There we go. Good job. Drive your heel through the floor. Ooh. Not only do you feel your, just your abs, you also feel your thighs. Keep that core nice and tight. Good job, guys. Keep going through it. There we go. And that was good. Whew. Perfect. And that concludes the workout for the day. See you on the next one.